Okay, so tonight's video is about using um, Canva.com. I'm going to leave the link down below in the description. <laughs> um, a program on on what which you can use to make logos. And um, as you can see, I made a um, Facebook header, which has my business name and everything on there. So that's really cool. Um, all of this I did for free. Now, the flower, okay, I, I hand drew that myself, but everything else um, I did on Canva, okay? That's like canvas, like C-A-N-V-A dot com, okay? Alright, so um, I'm going to show you what your home page is going to look like, okay? Alright, so that's your home page. You're going to have all kinds of things you can make. You can do a presentation, a poster, a logo, business cards, a Facebook post, a Facebook cover, not header, excuse me, um, a menu, so on and so forth. Okay, very useful. All right, now, um, I'm going to go to the one that I started already, okay? So, over here on the left-hand side, you're going to see lots of different tools okay so at the top you have home file resize and um an arrow for undoing things that you mess up on which is of course very helpful and then over on the side over here okay i don't know if you can see that very well let me do a little bit closer okay you've got um templates photos elements text, background, uploads, folders, and more. There's a lot that you can do with this. Um, right now it's on text because um, I had to redo the video again. Okay, so um, I'm going to go into elements, okay? I love using my elements, you guys. Okay, so let me explain these to you. The boxes or circles or any shape that has the blue clouds and the mountains. You can put any photo of any kind on top of those, okay? I'll demonstrate it in just a second. So the one that I'm going to use right now is the um, rectangular stamp shape, okay? So I'm going to, so what you do is you drag and you drop, all right? So I'm going to drag that one because that's the one I want to use. I'm going to put that over here, and then you drop it, okay? Kind of like your copy and paste, sort of. All right, now, at the top, you can see up here, you've got three squares, okay? The multicolored square is where you can change the middle of the, um, the box. Like, in other, in other words, instead of the mountains and clouds, you can make that a complete full color, which is really cool, I just um, figure that out. And then um, the light blue is the edge of the stamp, let's say. So I'm going to change that up here, okay, you click on that, it gives you a menu of different colors, as you can see right there, sorry for the bumpiness. So I'm going to go for this violet color right there, as you can see, 